Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain session four: create and use macros of Unit Two Electronic Spreadsheet. Now, first of all, I am going to explain what is the use of macros. So, actually, macros help in saving our time in the situation where we are doing the same set of task again and again on the data that is available on our worksheet. For example, that if I want to calculate average sum percentage. Again and again on my sub data. So for that, what will I do? I will create one macro, and in that macro, I will mention average percentage and sum, and thereafter, wherever I want to calculate all these three on my data. So simply in place of calculating average percentage and addition separately on the data, I will apply macro on it. So this is the one, and second one by using the macro, we can apply. Same set of formatting also on our data. So I am going to explain this practically by using Microsoft Excel worksheet. So now moving to it. So here one Microsoft Excel worksheet I have opened, and uh, this worksheet now I am going to use to explain macros practically. So first of all, just understand what data is available here. So here you can notice what table is created, and in this table seven students are there, and their marks in five subjects recorded in this table. So this is the data with us here, and what task I want to do actually here? So that is available, or I have mentioned in the right side of the table. So I want to calculate here average, highest marks, lowest marks, as well as how many students are scoring more than seventy-five marks in each subject. So this all four tasks I want to do on each subject separately. as well as i want to do this formatting also for each subject that if a student is scored more than 75 marks then those marks i want to highlight with a yellow font color and black fill color so here just below the table i want to calculate average maximum minimum in these cells for english subject and there after here in this cell i will calculate that how many students scored more than 75 in the english subject and same task i want to do for other subjects also those are hindi math science and social science so here as you can see that these are the four calculations that i have to do again and again for each subject repeatedly as well as this formatting also so these are the five task i have to do for each subject so in place of doing this task separately and repeatedly and for each subject what i will i do i will create one macro and in that macro i will mention all these five tasks and thereafter whenever i want to uh, do all these five tasks on my particular data of the worksheet so simply in place of doing all these calculations separately i will apply that particular macro so now i am going to show you how can we create macros and then how can we apply created macro on the data that is available on the worksheet so first of all how to create the macro so for that so now just to create the macro first of all we have to select the first cell on which we want to perform calculation so that is this cell containing marks of sumit and thereafter uh, macros option is available in the view tab so i am clicking on the view tab that is available in the menu bar and here macros group and in the macros group we are getting macros option so i have to click on this drop down arrow and here i have to first of all click on this use relative references so this use relative references is mentioning that my macro is starting from the cell f4 so that is selected now after that i have to next click on the record macro now after clicking on the record macro here i am getting record macro window so here i have to first of all give name to my this macro that i am creating so i am giving name to my this macro as test macro and after that here we can give shortcut key also to the macro so by using this shortcut key directly we can apply the macro on our data so i am giving control plus q so this will be the shortcut key and by using this shortcut key i can directly apply the macro after creating it and thereafter store macro in so here we are getting one drop down list and in this three options are there and we have to select this workbook option so as i'm selecting this workbook option so i will be able to apply macro that i'm going to create on the sheet one on all the sheets those are available in this workbook so that is the use of this workbook option and thereafter okay so now here we have defined the macro now after this still we have to create the macro macro i did not create yet i have only defined the new macro so how to create it so 
after that now next is as i have to click average so first of all i am going to write formula here to calculate average so equal average and thereafter first cell of the range colon last cell and thereafter bracket close so here we got the average as 60.714 next is i want to find maximum so equal max bracket open first cell of the range colon last cell and then bracket close so i am getting the maximum marks here in english subject that is 78 then minimum equal min thereafter first cell of the range colon last cell bracket close so minimum marks i am getting in the english subject that is 45 now i want to calculate or find how many students here is scored in English subject more than 75. So for that I am going to use countif function. So this is maybe new for you. So count if how are we using? So equal count if bracket open and after that we have to first of all mention the range. So as I want to find uh, more than 75 marks in this range in the English subject. So first cell is selected colon last cell of the range thereafter comma then double quotes and here I have to find as more than 75 so that's why greater than 75 double quotes and then bracket close so here I am getting one so this means in the English subject only one student is scored more than 75 marks so here first four tasks I have done I have calculated the average for English highest marks I have found lowest marks as well as how many students are scoring more than 75 now last is what I have to highlight marks more than 75 in what way that font color i want yellow and fill color i want blank so for that i have to select all these cells and for this purpose i have to use conditional formatting actually so in the home tab conditional formatting option is there and thereafter highlight cell rows and as i want to highlight marks more than 75 so that's why greater than is selected and here i have to mention first of all format cells that are greater than so i have to mention the value in the first field here that is 75 then drop down and now I am going to set the format font color yellow and fill color black so for that I have to use this custom format option from this drop down menu and here I will get one window so I am getting format cells window so as I want font color yellow so in the font tab color option and yellow color is selected fill color I want black so that's why fill tab and here I'm selecting black color and then ok and then ok again so now you can notice that in the English subject only one student is scored more than 75 so those marks now you can notice highlight with yellow font color and black fill color so here now you can see that all the five tasks I have done and uh, these all five tasks I have defined in the first macro now after this i have to end my macro just to mention that these many tasks i want in the macro that i have defined already so how to add the macro for that just click on the view tab and thereafter macros and here we are getting now the stop recording option so now i have to click on this stop recording and thereafter now macro i have created and saved it also now as i want to do the same task for Hindi subject, Mathematics, Science and Social Science. So in place of doing all these steps again, as I created the macro, and in that macro I have mentioned all these five steps or all these five tasks. So that's why I will simply now apply that macro that I created just now on Hindi, Mathematics, Science and Social Science subject also. Now how will I apply that macro or for other subjects? So for that, the steps are very simple. Just click on the first cell of the range and after that, Go in the macros, again view tab, macros group and macros and thereafter view macros option that we are getting here first one and now here macro name so you can notice macro that I created just now that is text macro I am getting here in the list so select it and thereafter so now you can notice that automatically now I am getting average maximum minimum and more than and marks also got highlight more than 75 so this is the advantage of using the macro so in place of doing the all five tasks again here by few clicks i am getting the overall result so in this way suppose if 10 tasks are there so those 10 tasks we will mention 
as one set in one macro and then after that macro we can apply wherever we want okay so this is one method you have seen how can we apply macro on our data now second one is what shortcut key so when i created the macro when i defined the macro that time i mentioned shortcut key for this macro as control plus q so now just see i've selected first cell of the range and now i'm pressing control plus q key so you can notice that as a control plus q shortcut key i am getting result for the mathematics and thereafter for the size also i am going to use the same shortcut key control plus q and i am getting the result and for the social science also so first cell is selected on the range and thereafter control plus q so this is the benefit of using the macro so five tasks are there four are related to the calculations and fifth one is formatting and these all five tasks i mentioned in one macro and thereafter wherever i want to apply all these five tasks so in place of doing all these five tasks manually again i am simply using that macro so that is the use of the macro benefit of the macro so now here session 4 of unit 2 is ending and here our unit 2 is also ending and unit 3 i will start in the next video so now this video i am going to end here